is to fried tofu and Jeff says this is a uh, fish balls with like meat inside like a pork. Uh, so typically uh, you just throw it in a little bit earlier because these take quite a bit longer to cook. So we're just gonna, well I'm just gonna dump in the whole thing. But uh, They give you this paper menu. Not sure if you can see that, but we basically choose first a broth, and then there's a section for vegetables, noodles, and rice, your meats here, over here, and dumplings and other stuff. So she the waitress recommended the kimchi tom yum and the Chinese herbal. So for hot pot, you can do a pot with two different soups. You can do one soup if you only like one type of broth, but we like to do half spicy, half not spicy. So we got the kimchi tom yum broth and the Chinese herbal broth. So they'll be bringing that out shortly and now we're gonna be choosing our meats and vegetables. Here is our broth. So as mentioned, the kimchi tom yum, I'm just gonna stir it up actually a little bit and show you. So there's actually pieces of kimchi in it, along with looks like cilantro, lemongrass, and mad peppers. There's like a ton of them in here. Okay. And since I dipped my spoon in the spicy side, I'll refrain from putting it in the not spicy side for a So right here, I'm gonna borrow this ladle right here. So this is the Chinese herbal, so let's kind of stir it up and see what's in here. Looks like, I want to say dates. I'm not sure what that is, so it looks like a date. Some cilantro, a one piece of green onion, <laughs> and I don't know what these red things are. Looks like some sort of berries. It's a dehydrated, it's some sort of herb. So I mean, this is Chinese herb. So then there's other herbs in here, so it's kind of white, a white milky kind of soup. Oh, some other herbs, which I don't know what these herbs are. But yeah, usually when you come to Hot Pot, it's a very family, it's a very kind of family style sharing type of meal. So you're doing one pot with the whole table, or as many people as you can reach. So if you have a longer table, you might have two pots. But if some people doesn't eat spicy, like try not to put your spicy stuff like mixing it up or else they can't eat it, common sense, but um, they also give us these, let me put it down here, so we got the green onions, the garlic, and these looks like pep chili peppers, green yeah, chili peppers, yeah. and then this is like a Chinese, Chinese, is it Chinese? I don't know, whatever it's it is, like it's called Korean barbecue sauce, so if you go to the Asian market, you can buy like a, a like a container of these so what you do is they give you a bowl of soy sauce and then you choose make your own dipping sauce so that when you boil your meats you can dip it in your own sauce up to your preference I like to put probably that whole thing of garlic if I can but I have to share so I can't use all of it 
but garlic, the scallions, I usually put in like maybe one or two of these because they are pretty hot and then like a dollop of fish. So yep, typically I like to mix the barbecue sauce right here with my soy sauce. And I'm just gonna do this. I guess it just varies on what your preference is. Like Tanya likes a lot of garlic. And I just like a lot of spicy stuff. Yep. Uh, I mean, just really your preference on how you like your sauce. So I don't think Tanya explained this. So typically, uh, hot pot places charge you per dish and stuff, but we're at an all-you-can-eat, so it's just set at one price. How much is the price? Twenty dollars and ninety-five cents. So it's dollars and ninety-five cents just for the hot pot portion, but they also do all-you-can-eat sushi, which we didn't do because we're gonna get really full. And so, so which one? Oh, so these are the meats that came. Uh, did we order more meats? Oh yeah, but there's another. Slot. Yeah. Oh, I don't want this. Got meat. So which one did you grab? So before you throw anything in, it's usually best practice to wait until it boils first, which we did. <laughs> boiling, so we're putting in stuff. Or else it's gonna be really soggy. Soggy. So this is the oh so you already did that label, so this one's oh that thing right here. So we don't wanna mix it. It's time for meat. So now our broth is boiling. We put in some vegetables to help flavor the broth. We're gonna start putting in our meat. So recommendation for the meats is don't leave it in the soup. Just only put in as much as you can eat. Probably I'm gonna do like a couple pieces. Cause if you leave it in the broth, it's gonna overcook and it'll be too chewy. So Putting it in the spicy side so it flavors the beef a little bit more, but I'm gonna throw in like two on this side. So basically for the meats, what I usually do is once it turns color, take it out. I don't wanna overcook it. I'm gonna push these down a little. I think these are actually done. Like see how quick that was? Like that's already done. Take it out. Don't want to leave it in there. So this is the food gel meatballs, or yeah, meatballs, and then uh, this is to fried tofu, and just says this is a uh, fish balls with like meat inside, like a pork. Uh, so typically, uh, you just throw it in a little bit earlier because these take quite a bit longer to cook. So. We're just gonna, well, I'm just gonna dump in the whole thing. But, uh, we'll just give it like a bit to cook before we pull it out again. But. Fish paste. So, depending on the restaurant, it might come on a plate like this, or it might actually come in like a bamboo type of tube and they'll, and they'll scoop it into your pot for you. But in this case, it came in a plate. So, I usually like to put in like maybe like this size of a piece into the pot only because it expands after it's boiled. Yeah. Oh, food. So this lamb, this Angus iron, this only bite. Okay. Enjoy. You put in this size of a piece because it expands once it's boiled. Because if you do any bigger, you're you're like going over meatball size basically. So I usually just like wiggle it into the pot and it comes right off. So let me just put the whole thing in piece by piece. It's strange that they put a ton of cilantro on top. I've never seen that. It's usually just the fish paste. But hopefully soon. So typically, like you can tell the the fish balls and tofu are done by how they float, even the vegetables. The way that you can tell that they're done is that they're floating. Yeah. If they're still on the bottom, they're still probably uncooked. The vegetables, it's up to your preference. Some people just like to steam it for a little bit so that it's crunchy. And 
some just leave it. So it can absorb the so flavor. So it can just absorb the flavor and turn to mush. So this is the the fatty beef, which I we typically like to get. And then you just dip it and get all oh, that sauce. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. I feel. Yeah, nogi, but typically this doesn't take that long to cook. Probably like maybe two minutes, but it's really good. It's like a different kind of texture to normal mushroom. It's good for you. It's good for you too. <laughs> it's good for you. I think this might be the Angus. Angus beef. Typically, I like my meat a little red. But fried this. Yeah. So we tried to order fried tofu and tofu skin, and they were like, "We can fry the tofu skin," and we were like, "Sure." First time having this. it. Look how crispy. Stop moving it, Todd. No. Oh yeah, it's trying to focus, but look, look how crispy that is. I made you. It's oh. almost like an appetizer at that point. Never had it like that. Never had it like that. It's almost like a chip. Yeah. yeah. Like a chip with no salt. Jeff dipped it in the soup and it was better, he said. Oh, really? And then you dip it in the sauce. And then dip it in the sauce. Look how, like, crispy that is. I'm gonna try the, the Jeff move. The Jeff move. Is this broth for you? Yes, yes please. Salt. So she's adding more broth. Well, we've been boiling this for a while. Thank you. Thank you. Man, it's really good with the broth and the sauce. Yeah. So, I swear I only put in two pieces, but I keep finding meat. Oh, it's me. Oh. I threw in a lot okay. when I was describing it. The whole plate? Yeah, basically. Anyways, so if you're running low on soup, you can call your server to add more broth, but they're not going to add the broth itself. They're just going to add hot water. I mean, essentially all your seasonings are still there, so yeah, but you'll be fine. I went to a spot in Chicago that they refilled it with broth. Really? Yeah. See, that's high class. That's high class hot pot. We just have all you can eat. We'll fill you up for like, what, 20 bucks? Kind of cool. Yeah. <clears throat> but depending on the, the place that you go to, yeah. there's probably going to be different tiers of meat. We just ordered the basic, like, basic beefs, basic... The favorites. The favorites, I guess. Yeah. But I'm sure there's probably some hot pot places where you can get like wagyu hot pot. But oh, I don't yeah, know if yeah. you want to do that though. No, it get, you can get pricey. Wrong. Yeah. Can you overcook shrimp? Yeah, uh, it'd be kombucha. Yeah. We have a tofu. Tofu! I am. <laughs> and this is the. Normally the, people take the shell off, but I guess you could just eat it. It is. So edible, this is the right? the Japanese mushroom. Yeah. I mean, I haven't died from it yet. This is the bok choy. There's some fish paste. Yep. So there's the fish paste. Fish paste. From earlier. It's floating. Yep, I'm gonna grab. Right Two oh. more, I guess. Oh, and I got some mushrooms in there. Yep. And oops. so I need to wait for these to cool down since they're steaming. If I try to eat it now, I'll probably burn myself. But typically, with any of these items that we got, you dip it in your sauce and you eat it. So you, I usually just have. 
fish taste, but not really fish smell. So think of like a like a white meat kind of fish, just kind of like ground into a paste, and then they added probably some garlic and cilantro because I can smell the garlic and cilantro and some other seasonings. So it's like a fish meatball. If you ever had a fish meatball. This is the tofu skin. It absorbs a lot of the flavor of the the broth. So. Tofu, not tofu skin. Oh yeah, fried tofu, yeah, my bad. But it absorbed a lot of flavor. You can taste the kimchi and the tom yum. Hello, so we just finished and uh, Jeff's hiding over here in the corner. Yeah, yeah. but uh, yep. So what's your We're final standing thought? outside in front right now, it's really warm. But I feel like that was worth it for what we paid. Yeah, we paid about like 42 each and we the quality is pretty meat. good. Service was pretty decent. I mean, but usually you can't really like service too too much. You just bring the stuff. You basically order it. You yeah. know, they don't even cook it for you. You cook it yourself. So yeah, it, I mean, this is really like decent for your money. I mean, it's just if you don't want to go into Chinatown, look for parking because this is a the decent question spot. Is, would you come back? I would come back. I always We've come back. We've been back. We've been back. Would you come back, Jeff? I live all the stuff that you would want to eat at a hot pot. So it's a good spot. It's all you can eat, so you don't have to worry about overspending because you're literally paying one price. Order as much as you want, but you gotta remember to eat all of it, or else they're gonna charge you. I'm just but trying. We to move. did a good job. Yeah, huh. we killed it. Jeff gave up halfway. Yeah. And it's like it's close to Boston, so. Yeah. All right. Till next time.